Welcome to video 128 in series 3, and in this video I'll just write a script so that I can drop items instead of always having to throw them. So I'll just make a new item script, and I'll call it item drop. Okay, and open that up. Private item master, item master. public string drop button name and private transform my transform so those are my variables I won't need a uh, on enable and on disable so I'll just get rid of those and I'll make a new method void check for drop input And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to check that this button has been pressed, that the game isn't paused, and that this item is actually on the player. And if all those conditions are satisfied, then I'll say that the uh, parent of this game object make it null, so it's no longer on the player. And I'll just call call event uh, item throw. And so that will uh, pretty much cause the item uh, to be thrown, well not thrown, but just released uh, from the player player's inventory. And so it will just, uh, and you know, its rigid body will activate, the collider will uh, activate, and it'll just drop in front of the player. That's all it is, so it's really simple. If input.getButtonDown, and that button is drop button name, and time.timeScale is greater than zero, and my transform dot root dot compare tag and which tag is that that's the uh, game manager references dot player tag okay so if all of that is uh, okay my transform dot parent uh, is equal to null and uh, item master dot call event object throw and so that's it so in set initial references item master is a get component item master and uh, my transform is equal to transform so set initial references up here And check for a drop input here and update. And that should be it. So it's a nice and easy uh, script. So let's go back to Unity. Let's attach it to the barrel. Okay, and I need to set up my input. So I'm just going to call it uh, drop. And let me just get that. Go to Edit, Project Settings, Input. And I'll just make a number 23. And the positive button, well, I think I'll use a G. I think I'll use G for that. And I've had another idea too while I'm at it. I think um, for toggle inventory, since I don't have a, uh, uh, you know, I don't have crouch uh, in this, I'm thinking I'll also have inventory brought up with left control. And so this will make it much easier for the player to just quickly bring up their inventory and select something and throw it and stuff. Because I just realized after after playing for a bit, I realized, you know, pressing the I button, that's good for most games, but not for this one where you want to access your inventory quite a bit. So it was a bit uh, inconvenient reaching for I. So I think left control will make that very, very easy. And then you can just quickly throw stuff at the enemies. Okay, so one moment. I don't think I pressed apply there. I've got that set up. Okay, good. Hit apply. Okay, jump in. Right, now can I drop it? So F is throw, G is drop. Good. There we go. No more risk of uh, 
barrels exploding all the time. Now you can actually go and uh, stockpile them and stuff. I wonder if I can actually drop it on top, just just to see. Yeah, I can. Wow, okay. So that's nice. So now I can properly stockpile and stuff, and uh, it'll work out nicely, which is cool. Alright, okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.